The residents of Koboko, Yumbe and Moyo districts now have a reason to rejoice as construction of the 103.08-kilometer Koboko, Yumbe, Moyo Road and Bridges project is set to finally commence towards the end of September 2024. Under the project that for long failed to commence leaving the residents in shock, the current gravel road will be upgraded with the hope of making it easy for the movement of goods and services in the West Nile districts. This was revealed during the press briefing with the representatives of the Uganda National Roads Authority, Zongmei Engineering Group Limited, at the Project Implementation Unit Office in Koboko District recently. Engineer Alex Otim, the project manager of the Uganda National Roads Authority, stated that the reason for the delay to the commencement of the upgrading of the 103.08-kilometer koboko yumbe Moyo Road is due to the delay in complying towards the covenants set by the World Bank. Um, Generally, as I've told you, that management of World Bank projects, don't have funded projects generally. You have to first come up with all those covenants that you sign, you should first comply to them before you start anything. Among those covenants, he said before we start anything, we should make sure that the environment, social uh, issues, and management plans and impacts. The documents required should first be approved by the bank or no objection by the bank. So that is what is actually keeping the road not to start as, as yet. We are in a back and forth. I would like to congratulate the country office of the bank. They have been very, 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 very helpful. Because immediately we, we developed those documents, which is the uh, just three weeks behind, we have already got an approval of one of them. There were some conditions, but the conditions are also so stringent. That is the, what is called the contractor's environment and social management plan. It has been approved with the conditions. What does it mean? It means that along the road, activities can begin. Engineer Otim also noted that there has been a significant delay in the commencement of the road construction, which has affected the project implementation period, though he's optimistic that the work will begin end of September 2024. There are delays which have occurred, and the delays have affected the, the, the project implementation period. Right from procurement, right from conception of the, of the project, it has affected, and we are having the grant period until December 2025. I would, at this point in time, say that we have actually one year of implementation, because what I see is that this remaining few months, we might have just started. The real work will catch up, hmm? like January, hmm? if I'm to be realistic. Of course, we will start. We will start, I'm optimistic, at the end of September. I'm optimistic because there's two plans, even the bank sees it, that it should start, it should be approved. So, with that time, we have taken an approach that we need to have several fronts so that we can work within the time frame. Definitely, you can see the time frame is very short. A, a road like this, you cannot finish it in one year. We have also already hinted to the bank that we will need extension because the delays that have been occurring, you can see them, they are really delays which are not apportionable as a blame. These are delays that are in line with the stringent conditions that you have what? given us. If it was not those stringent conditions, we would be far, far, far much ahead. So, since we are complying, Mm -hmm. And you know, to comply, it takes a back and forth. Writing this letter, giving a comment, this report, then change like that. That means there is time going. That precious time which has gone has gone between the two of us. So please, we will need some time. But you see, you don't need too much time. Yeah. So we have to also be cognizant of the fact that we will need to expedite. So that the time that we are going to ask for is not going to be another like three years, it will be unrealistic.
the 103.08 kilometer project traverses through the districts of Koboko Yumbe and Moyo, linking the region of the Democratic Republic of Congo border at Oraba, Vura, and Goli, as well as South Sudan at Oraba and Afoji. The World Bank extended a grant of US dollars 130.8 million to the government of Uganda to strategically address the transport challenges affecting the refugee hosting communities in the West Nile region. Though the project period is set to end in December 2025, Uganda National Roads Authority and the contractor are optimistic to commence the road construction towards the end of September 2024. Okumaringa Christine, Farish Majid, for West Nile Television, Nile Cast.